All right, let's look at the memorization of vocabulary with associations. People ask me about this all the time. Um, I will always answer the same thing. This is one of the most important things in language learning, because if you don't learn a lot of vocabulary, you will not understand and you will not be able to speak. So it's important to uh, learn as much vocabulary as possible. So developing the skill of memorizing vocabulary fast, yeah, not only learning the words, but learning how to memorize vocabulary fast is extremely important and extremely useful because um, it will help you learn even more vocab in the future in whatever language you're learning now or in other languages. And uh, I get a lot of questions about this. What's the best way to do it? Uh, how exactly should one do it? And uh, one thing I would recommend is um, to look at this as a skill that you're training. The same way you, uh, those of you who, I hope most of you, those of you who work out or you go for runs or do exercise, uh, if you want to improve, you time yourself and you keep track of, yeah, you basically keep track of what you're doing. Yeah. How many reps can you do with this amount of weight uh, when you're bench pressing? How many push ups you can do? How many pull ups? Uh, how long do you need to run a mile? whatever the uh, thing you're measuring is. If you measure it, you improve. If you don't measure it, usually you stay more or less the same. You tend to improve as well if you keep doing it. Uh, just not as much as if you were measuring it. And sorry, phone. Um, and one thing you can do to improve your ability to memorize, because when I talk about memorizing hundreds of words a day, some people think that's... Some people uh, accuse me of lying directly. They say it's impossible. When there are people who can do more than 10 times what I can do, and I know they can because I've seen them, <laughs> but uh, some people just can't uh, accept that others have abilities that they wouldn't even dream of, but it's true. Uh, other people just get discouraged. They try. Uh, it's hard. It, it is difficult at first. It's not difficult for some other people. Creative people are really good at this. Uh, usually intelligent people are good at this. People who, <laughs> people who say this doesn't work tend to be dumb people. People who are not creative, people who are... Uh, the, the people who just say that, no, you need to learn in context... You need more in, more reading, more input, more blah, blah, blah. This doesn't work. Those are kind of dumb people. Uh, they're just not smart enough to create associations. And that's the truth. But uh, for most of you, you can... I mean, even the dumbest person can get good at this with enough practice, right? So, But most of you, you just, you've never done this before, so it's difficult. So you don't know where to start. Uh, my advice is to set a timer. Yeah, you take your phone. Set a timer on your phone. Ten minutes is pretty. You can you can do it with five as well, but ten minutes is good. Uh, you take notebook like this. I bought this in Ireland. It's nice. Uh, And you try to create as many associations as possible in that time. Yeah, as many reps as possible in five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. But always do the same exact time. Yeah, the same amount of time. Um, I do 10 minutes. Some other people do. I don't recommend doing more than 10 minutes, honestly. Uh, maybe start with five. Don't do more than 10 because if you go, if you try to do longer sessions, you'll get much slower because you just lose focus and and uh, yeah you should look it at, at you should look at it as a series of uh, as like a series of sprints instead of as like a marathon yeah uh, that 
like long sessions of language learning. Do that with extensive reading and, and listening and all that. Uh, just like, that's more like for chilling. Just you do it casually, keep reading, keep listening, watching stuff. But memorization, and the same thing goes for speed reading training. It should be short intervals, uh, super intense work, and you do as much as possible. Like today, I haven't started learning languages today yet, but uh, I've already done three sessions of uh, 10 minutes before breakfast, after breakfast, uh, and before lunch. And uh, yeah, because you can find 10 minutes anywhere right, in, in, during the day, even if you're busy. I've done 36 words the first 10 minutes, 36 more words the second round, and 31. I was already quite tired before lunch. Uh, I'll do like 30 to 40 normally in 10 minutes. So if I do 10 10 minute sessions uh, a day, that's 300 to 400 words memorized. I could do a lot more if if I wasn't working. If I had a whole day, if it was a Sunday and I really wanted to work on my vocab, I could do it as well. But make sure you take rest. So you do 10 minutes of this, take a rest, do something else. Maybe you do some other sort of learning that's uh, less intensive and then go back to it once you're motivated and yeah, ready to go. But yeah, 30 to 40, uh, I was doing much less done that before it just i keep doing this and trying to beat my number and sometimes i'll, I'll do slightly less it's not it's not always going upwards like i did 36 36 31 because the first session was already end of the morning and i was quite tired i'll do like again maybe below 30 even for some of these sessions later in the day that still counts. Some others I'll do over 40 if I'm really motivated. But you keep track of it. And week by week, you count. And then you count the whole day as well, how many of them you did in total. Uh, 100 a day is good. Uh, three, 400 a day is great. Five, 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 500 plus a day is very doable if you do this. Um, especially if you get really good at this exercise and you do it uh, really quickly. Like, if, if you do five, 50 words uh, in 10 minutes, that's uh, 10 sessions of 10 minutes throughout the day. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's that easy. I mean, it's not easy. It's just it needs practice. But you just have to keep start and keep going and do you know, treat, treat it like something um, you're training in short intervals instead of... Uh, long session of an hour, an hour and a half, because you're going to get very slow doing that. Uh, you're going to get, you're going to lose focus and you're going to start thinking of other things and maybe check your phone or whatever. If you've got a 10 minute timer, you'll go hard for 10 minutes, memorize as many of them as possible. Oops. Memorize as many of them as possible and then you keep going. Uh, yeah, so how to associate i've explained it over and over again uh you take the word visualize the word you visualize something that sounds like the word yeah and then you create a connection like this kind of you know who islam makhachev is the ufc uh, champion like imagine that dude being turned into a computer uh, with a beard and everything, then you know that Machchev is uh, Machchev is a computer. Uh, Tamta is a comparison. So for words like this, you can. Uh, this sounds like dance. Uh, Tamta dance. At least in my language, sounds like dance. So. I visualize two people dancing and then they're being compared and they're being judged and this like uh, giving them num scores, numbers and stuff. For this kind of abstract words, you have to be a little bit more creative. But the more you do it, the better you'll get at this exercise. That's basically the message of this video. 
look at this as a as a as a skill that you need to practice. And if you only do five associations in ten minutes, I mean that's <laughs> you have to be, you'd have to be really really slow. That's one in two minutes. But still, like sometimes even even if you only do that, like, you can only improve, right? If you keep doing it, maybe you can do ten uh, in ten minutes a week from now, and then twenty and you can get really good at this if you if you do it in short intervals and and you like work hard and really focused so try that 10 minute sessions super intense super focused do as many of them as possible as many reps as possible like in crossfit all right guys see you later